Hey guys, it's Maris. I'm back with some more clinical skills because we're hearing from a lot of new grads, student nurses, working nurses, that this is stuff that they didn't learn in nursing school. So I wanna help you out with another tip. As an ER nurse, we give a lot of fluid boluses. And this means that we're giving fluids using primary lines that are open to gravity. We're just dumping fluids into people. And sometimes they need multiple liters, like when you have a patient in sepsis. One of the things that I hate is if I am busy and I can't pay attention to where the fluid level is for my patient's IV, sometimes that line can run dry and I end up with air in my line. Let me show you how to avoid that. This is a trick I've been doing since I've been working pre-hospital EMS, and it's my favorite thing to show new grads or anybody else who spikes in Prime's fluid. What you need is a primary set, which is coming out of the package open to gravity here, and you're going to leave it open there. Don't clamp it. And then, of course, you need your IV fluid bag. Now, I'm not in a hospital or else I would be wearing gloves to provide this kind of care, but you're going to uncap both of these, and then you are going to go ahead and spike your line right here. Once you have fully spiked the bag, leaving it open to gravity, you're going to just squeeze and you're going to get the air coming out and you're going to squeeze until your drip chamber is half full, stop and flip it over. Now what it's doing is it's going to prime the rest of this line here, but there's no air left in your bag and there's not gonna be any bubbles in your line either. Now that the bag has finished priming, you can go ahead and clamp it shut so that when you take the cap off, it doesn't spray everywhere. But look at that, no bubbles. And there's no air in your bag. So at no point will your line ever run dry. And when you need to switch a bag out, now you have a completely primed set. I hope this helps. If you do try this trick out, let me know. It's my favorite way to prime fluids. The only time that it will not work is if you have a glass vial such as Diprovan and sometimes a plastic bottle like Diltiazem comes in. Anyway, give it a shot, see what you think, and let me know.